Tasa, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going Beanie Boo shopping. And guys, I think I have an addiction. I keep spending all of my money on Beanie Boos and it's kind of starting to be a problem. But shh, don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be okay, guys. And make sure to stay to the very end of the video because I'm gonna be doing a Beanie Boo haul and I'm gonna show you guys all of the Beanie Boos that I bought and reviewing them. So let's get into the shopping clips. So here we are at Claire's. I love Beanie Boo shopping at Claire's because I always find such great Beanie Boos. The only problem is the price. Like everywhere else, Beanie Boos cost $6, but at Claire's they cost $10 each. Like why? <sighs> Here's a Maya the cat. She is super adorable. She is a Claire's exclusive. And here's Aurelia. She is also a Claire's exclusive. In this clip, I'm basically just grabbing random Beanie Boos. Like here's Dainty the Flamingo. And oh my goodness, I found Baxter the Boston Terrier. I was so happy when I found her. I really love that Beanie Boo. And they had so many extra larges here, but I can't get more extra larges because I don't have space. Next, we went to Party City, and here I'm showing you guys the flippable shelves. I think this is new because the last time I went to Party City, they didn't have any flippables. And here are the teeny ties. It's so weird that they also have teeny tie flippables now. Just wow. And here is the Beanie Boo shelf. They had lots and lots of Beanie Boos. There's Helena, the Unibu Husky. Guys, comment down below, where is your favorite place to shop for Beanie Boos? Mine would probably be pharmacies, honestly. And then I found Chewy the Chihuahua, which I was really happy about. It is such a cute Beanie Boo and I hadn't seen her anywhere else. Here I'm showing you guys the tag so you can see her name. And then I saw a bunch of Ramses in plastic bags, which I was kind of confused about. Like, why didn't they take him out? And I also saw this really cute little beanie baby French bulldog. I really wanted to get it, and honestly, I probably am going to buy it the next time I see it. And then here are the Beanie Boo purses. And the whole rack of Yoohoo and Friends. Do any of you guys collect Yoohoo and Friends? I'm really curious. And here are the Beanie Boo mediums. Here we are at Michael's. They had loads of Beanie Boos on their shelves. And surprisingly, they had a bunch of the Christmas Beanie Boos left over. I was really happy to find the Christmas Beanie Boos because I hadn't bought any of them and I was actually looking for them. I also saw a medium chewy, which was nice. And yeah, here is Sugar. I was really happy to have found her. They also had Stardust, the flippable unicorn. She is super cool. And I also found Flurry the Snowman. The one Christmas Beanie Boo that I was really sad that I couldn't find was Fudge the Reindeer. He is super nice and I wanted to find him so bad, but I didn't. Then we went to Hallmark and they didn't have very many Beanie Boos but I did find some of the leftover Valentine's Day Beanie Boos, which was really cool. And eek, you guys, look who I found. I found Sully the Furry Sloth. I was so happy to have found him. I have been looking for him, but I just could not find him. And the first Beanie Boo is Sully the Sloth. Guys, I love this Beanie Boo, one, because he's a sloth, and two, because he is so furry. Look at his hair, look how long and fluffy it is. I think he's really adorable, but like in a funny way. I wonder who at Ty was just, you know, brainstorming ideas for a Beanie Boo and thought, oh, let's take a sloth and, you know, give him really, really long hair. And oh, also let's throw in some bird feathers in there. I don't know, but whoever that is, they deserve a promotion. Cause like, look at this, he has his regular brown fur and then he has these like bird feathers. I'm kind of confused, but I'm not gonna question it, okay? This is just a bird, long haired sloth. Just wow. I feel like Sully is like Dangler's weird uncle or something. 
I do wonder why they made him so lanky because normally the Beanie Boo slots are quite chubby but he's quite skinny and I don't know why they did that like look at Dreamer's arm over here and then look at his it's so floppy and tiny and also his head is really small so I'm kind of confused why they did that but I don't really mind because he has so much hair so you don't really notice but yeah I really like this Beanie Boo he is so cute and also just so funny when I picked him out at Hallmark I showed him to my mom and she just started laughing so hard and she was like what is that and I was like mom don't be mean it's Sully the sloth his tag reads Sully on a lazy day with nowhere to go I'll relax with you and take it slow my birthday is February 25th and the next Beanie Boo is Baxter! I got him at Claire's because he is a Claire's exclusive and I am just super happy that Ty finally made a Boston Terrier Beanie Boo. I have been wanting a Boston Terrier Beanie Boo for the longest time and this Beanie Boo is actually quite special to me because he looks a lot like my childhood dog named Bosco who was also a Boston Terrier. I'll put some pictures of me and Bosco up on the screen. I really miss my childhood dog, so yeah. And their names are actually really similar. My dog was called Bosco, and this Beanie Boo is called Baxter. I really love how they did the snout on this Beanie Boo. I think it's really well done. I like the wrinkle right here, and the nose is also super cute and realistic. I really like the color scheme of black, white, and blue. I think it is a really nice color palette. And also, look at his little tail down there, super cute, and his white paws. The ears are this nice sparkly blue that match the eyes, and it has like this Boston Terrier pattern where it has like a white diamond right here and on the snout, and also this pattern where it, on its belly it's white and the paws are white. And his tag reads, Baxter, you are my buddy and I am your friend. How about we go for a walk this weekend? My birthday is September 26th. Overall, a super cute Beanie Boo, 10 out of 10. The next Beanie Boo is Sugar. I got her at Michael's and look how lovely she is. She is one of the 2019 Christmas Beanie Boos. So I was really surprised, but really glad to find her cause I really wanted her. She is wearing this sparkly little antler headband. This side's red and this one's green and it has all these little polka dots and this matching collar, which is red with a green diamond. I really like the idea of having animals dress up as other animals, like with headbands, like with Pearly the Easter Cat. I think those ideas are super cute and I hope Ty keeps making more. And something I noticed is that her eye color is really unique. Like, if you look at Wild the Zebra, this is the green that Ty usually uses in the Beanie Boo eyes, but they use this different kind of darker, richer green, which I really, really love. I really don't think there's any other Beanie Boos that have this eye color other than one of the new ones that is coming out in 2020. Also, the material they used on this Beanie Boo is so nice and so soft. She literally feels like petting a cloud. That's how I describe it. Her tag reads, sugar. I'll be under the mistletoe waiting with a stick to throw. My birthday is December 10th. But seriously, I love this Beanie Boo. She is just so cute. And the next Beanie Boo is Chewy. Aww. And Chewy looks different from all the other Beanie Boo Chihuahuas. Like, here's Cancun so that you can compare the two. Chewy is much bigger and much softer. She has smaller ears. She has a frown. She has neck fur. Her paws are bigger. And she's a lot softer. I wonder if Ty's gonna keep making the Beanie Boo Chihuahuas this way. Which one do you prefer? I honestly cannot choose because I think both are super cute. And I hope Ty just makes, like, a combination of the two and doesn't just make one type. Also, for real guys, she is so soft. I love the material they used on her. And I also really like her neck fur. 
It is a really nice contrast against her cream, kind of plain fur with all of these fun colors, and they're all really blended nicely together. I really like it. And the way her head is tilted and the pouty expression they gave her makes her look as if she just chewed up everything in your room and is now begging for forgiveness, Yay! which goes with her name, Chewy, so it makes sense. And her tag reads, Chewy. I'm small and can easily fit in your pack. If you leave me in there, I might eat your snack. My birthday is March 7th. So these were the four treasures that I found on my shopping trip. I'm really grateful to have them. So that was my Beanie Boo shopping trip and my haul. Comment down in the comment section down below which Beanie Boo was your favorite. I think my favorite was Baxter. Anyways guys, thank you so so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.